Welcome friends uh, to the session which is going to deal with global indicators and how the global indicators affect uh, the flight routes and uh, the travel by flight. My name is Amruta Haldankar and uh, I'm a trainer in aviation, tourism and hospitality. Now let us see uh, the fourth GI which is possible that is SA. We have two cases over here. The first one is uh, your SA may roughly stand for Atlantic again but the southern zone. So we have TC123 again where in TC1 condition is that the flight has to be on the southern zone that is southern hemisphere. So that is any flight which is moving from ABCP or SATL that's south Atlantic zone. Then it crosses over the Atlantic again so that's how the name is SA. But in TC TC2 when it comes it has to be the points or the wire points only in Central Southern Africa and Indian Ocean Islands. So the wire points apart from those which are allowed are SEA, SASC and SATL. So what we are talking about is when the flight leaves from TC1 that is SATL and ABCPU from there it crosses over Atlantic and reaches area 2. So the only points in area 2 which are allowed and the other wire points which are allowed are this many. Further ahead it, the flight goes to area 3 which is SEA and SASC only. So this is how the route might uh, take place in that case we are talking about it being SA. So what we are talking about is a flight moving only in the southern hemisphere of uh, the earth. So this is the southern part of area 1, southern part of uh, area 2 and this is again uh, southern that is Southeast Asia and South Asian subcontinent. So we have examples over here wherein it is Delhi which is in India which is SASC. Then we go to uh, Cape Town so that is again in so South Africa which is in Southern Africa. Next is uh, Santiago which again comes in uh, Chile which is in area 1 SATL or ABCPU. So this clearly becomes an SA. Next one that we have is Rio which is again in ABCPU. Next it goes to Lilongwe all right, which falls under Central that is Malawi the country and the next one is Beijing which is in China which is again in SEA which is in TC3. So this has the GI as SA. SA area 1, 2, 3 again. So Delhi we have here in India area 3. Next is Cape Town which is in South Africa which is Southern Africa area 2 and uh, we have Santiago which is in Chile. So area 3, 2, 1 but it has a Southern Africa so it's an SA because this will be in uh, Southern zone. Next is Rio which is uh, here in uh, South Atlantic sub area. Next is Lilongwe which is again in Central Africa and then Beijing which is in China which again is a part of TC, uh, TC3 which is uh, SEA. So now uh, we have the second case wherein the GI can be SA uh, that is South Atlantic wherein uh, we have uh, the flight which leaves TC1 uh, from ABCPU that is SATL and it uh, crosses over Atlantic so it's a uh, transatlantic journey but it does not take anywhere a stop and directly that is via direct service lands in TC area 3 which is Southeast Asia and South Asian subcontinent. So in that case also it becomes an SA. So we have examples over here wherein uh, it is Jakarta uh, which is here in area 3 and we have uh, SA, uh, uh, SAO that's SAO which is in a South Atlantic sub area so it is area 3 to area 1 across the Atlantic and then we have Santiago which is again in area 1 and Hong Kong which is again in area 3 which is also S, uh, SEA. So this both uh, the examples will have the global indicators as SA. So uh, this is an essay again wherein direct services are there. Uh, Jakarta at area 3, direct service transatlantic to Sao which is in SATL again. And then Santiago Chile, direct service to Hong Kong area 3. Hope this session on global indicators was helpful and uh, it is going to help you in finding out the global indicators if you know ITA areas and sub areas. Uh, you may find uh, my profile on uh, LinkedIn if you have any queries about this session. Thank you so much. Have a great day.